Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows Updates is not working properly on your Windows 7 computer. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. And you want to type in Services. You want to select the Services entry that has a little gear icon right next to it. So left click on that. And then once you're in the services window, if you want to make the view a little bit wider, you can just drag one of the corners over a bit just to make it easier to see. And now you want to find the background intelligence transfer service listing in here. Double click on it. Underneath startup type, you want to make sure that you're set to automatic or automatic delayed start. And underneath service status, if it says started, you want to click on the stop button right here. And then you want to left click on OK. And now you want to go down to get to the Windows Update Service. So do the same thing, double click on it. Startup type, either automatic or automatic delete start. And underneath service status, if it says started, you want to left click on stop here. Click on OK. Once you're done doing that, you can close out of that window. Open the start menu back up and type in computer. One of the best matches under programs should say computer. You want to left click on that. Now you want to go underneath the local disk where Windows is installed on. This should be indicated by saying local disk and there should be a little Windows icon above a hard disk. You want to double click to open that up. Double click on the Windows folder. Now you want to scroll down to get to software distribution right here. So double click on that. And now anything listed in here is just part of the Windows update cache which can be safely deleted. So you just want to hold down and left click on all these entries at the same time. So I'm just dragging with my left mouse pointer over all these entries. And then I'm going to right click and then left click on delete. You can move them to the recycling bin. And keep in mind we're not actually deleting any Windows updates here. We're just deleting their cached copies that were used as a backup when they were originally installed. So they're really not necessary. At this point I would recommend that you restart your computer and then try and run the Windows Update application once you've done that and hopefully the issue has been resolved at that point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.